Okay, ready? We're on. Um, sorry if this is in the dark, but um, I finished teaching and I had to take the dogs out for a walk before it gets too dark. It's only like five o'clock. But it's a full moon tonight and I was working with my hot stones the other day and realised that they, uh, they needed charging because they just weren't retaining the heat properly and I just find that when they don't get charged in the full moon often then they, they don't retain the heat properly. So I'm just going to get them out and then I think what I've said before uh, when you come to training is that they like to be arranged in a mandala but I don't think about it, I don't sort of plan it, I let the basalt create what they want to do. So sometimes they like to be in a spiral that they're going this way. Uh, just sort of keep them together, filling in the gaps. I thought, I'll tell you what I'm going to do tomorrow actually, is I'll come out again in the morning and I'll, um, I'll get an, a, an image of them uh, as, look, oh, there's grandpa and grandma, let's put them together. That's what they just told me. Put these going, that's the heart stone, pillow stone, beautiful stones. My lovely basil. They are going to be in the full moon tonight. I usually do it summer solstice and winter solstice, but I'm actually in Austria this winter solstice, and so I won't be here to do it. So I thought this is good. Oh, just after 11 11. Look, so this is how they want to be. So it's just a shape that they've chosen to be in without me arranging or thinking about it too much, just really organic, that's all of them, one more is there. And I'll come take a photo in the morning of it. I've also got my um, Labradorite, sorry you can't see that, but I'll show you in the morning, it's quite sort of iridescent, it's so beautiful. But uh, that's the Labradorite and that can get charged as well. So there they are. And then I'm just gonna go inside and prepare all my um, other quartz crystals and other lovely crystals to go um, on my desk. I'm going to make a grid for the full moon, charging all my crystals. I like to make a grid on the full moon. Anyway, I'll take a photo or I'll blend it tomorrow in the morning when it's a bit lighter and you'll see how they are. And I'm going to leave them out in the daylight. So I'm going to leave them for 24 hours in the full moon and then the sunshine. Okay, got to go. So on from my video in the dark, this is a video in the light. And look what they created for themselves. How gorgeous, my basalt. And this is, like I said, I don't sort of think overthink about the shape. This is just a shape that they form themselves, but it's always very beautiful and symmetrical, this wizard coming out. So yeah, this charges up the basalt. So hopefully when I'm using them now, um, they will be retaining the heat. I'm gonna leave them out a little bit longer so that the sunshine can get to them, although it is clouding over, but they've had some sunshine. They've had the full moon. It was directly shining very early this morning when I looked down on them. But uh, yeah, they will be supercharged and super hot and they should last a few months, you know, a good few months like that. It's just when you notice that they've stopped retaining the heat. How, how is it that my dogs always bark when I make a video? Like, it's, it's like a rule, isn't it? Thanks, Monk. Anyway, so they should retain their heat for a long time. And um, yeah, get your basalt out. And uh, so when I, when I put it away now, I don't do anything to it. I'll just be putting it away. So any more information that you want, please ask questions, comment below, come and do my training, School of Fine Tuning. And um, I look forward to teaching you more.